Or maybe it's a rhetorical question. Will you and your family be chatting about the polar vortex around the Thanksgiving table this year? We usually talk about La Nina, but maybe this <laughs> maybe year. It looks it like you might have a reason to dig in, according to our next weather team. WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher shows us why. A sudden stratospheric warming may be about to shake up the polar vortex. Uh, translation, winter might flip the switch fast this year. So a quick vortex refresher. There are actually two of them. Down low, in the layer where our weather happens, the troposphere, we've got what most people simply call the jet stream. That fast river of air steering storms and deciding whether we get a nor'easter or a nice day. But there's a second one, a companion vortex that's way higher up, about 10 to 30 miles above us in the stratosphere. It revs up in the fall, slows down in the spring, and usually spins west to east, just like its counterpart down below. Now here's where things get wild. The atmosphere behaves a lot like water. So think waves, big, slow, planet-sized waves. During a sudden stratospheric warming event, one of these waves pushes north toward the pole and breaks in the stratosphere. And as it crashes down, air sinks and rapidly warms, sometimes by 100 degrees in just a few days. Now that can shove the polar vortex off the pole or even split it apart. And when that warming is strong enough, it totally rearranges the temperature balance up there. The winds don't just weaken, they reverse direction. Instead of blowing from west to east, they turn around and blow east to west. And when the vortex weakens like that, it has a habit of letting Arctic air spill southward into the places where most of us actually live. The effects can linger for about a month or more. Now, the last time we saw one this early was way back in November of 1968, and New England went on to have a very cold and snowy winter. But, and this part's important, a sudden stratospheric warming doesn't guarantee a blockbuster winter every time. There's usually a lag of at least a couple of weeks before anything reaches the surface. Still, as the odds, well, they go up. So as we look toward mid-December into January, the doors open for potentially some significant winter weather.